Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. So today we're going to talk about Bitcoin, we're going to talk about the Bitcoin dominance and why uh, alt season has arrived once again. We're also going to talk about uh, Shiba Inu and Polkadot. Again, thank you all for the messages in the comments. Thanks for the likes, thanks for subscribing. If you want me to look at a particular project, definitely leave a comment below. All right, let's get started. So Bitcoin is looking healthy. Uh, we're getting, again, the same type of consolidation that we saw here before we uh, breached the 45K mark, that staunch resistance. Remember, we had some good consolidation. Some people said it was a rising wedge. It was more like a rising channel. And once you see consolidation like that, and we're on the 4 hourly chart, by the way, once you see consolidation like that, you know you're going to get good growth. Even if you get a temporary kind of breakdown, which we had here, here we then uh, subsequently formed a W, reversal pattern, and now we're doing the same thing again, right? But we're doing it from a different point, right? We breached that 45 mark, but ever since then, we're slowly and very methodically consolidating, gaining strength, uh, up above and, and actually we're creating a good support zone for that 45 um resistance what once was resistance is now support and so that's basically what we're doing here we're flipping sr flipping um or rs flipping some people say that differently but we're turning old resistance to new support and that's with time that's with kind of confidence giving investors and you know, people who have their money in these projects confidence that you're not going to lose those levels, right? Uh, so that's basically what's happening here. All right, what's the next car target? And I mentioned this in the previous video, the next target is 51. And how do we get that? Uh, we can look at this here. Let's just uh, remove these real quick. Uh, we can look at this inverse head and shoulders it's kind of funky hit inverse head and shoulders because it's so slanted um or what we can do yeah let's look at this the target for this inverse head and shoulders uh even though it is really slanted it's still an inverse head and shoulders uh so this is market structure it's good very bullish market structure as i said before in my previous video uh on you know these kind of uh, bullish head and shoulders, they slant upwards and to the right because they're so bullish. Um, that's just showing you their bias, all right? And so the target for this would be from the breakout, uh, basically from the neckline to the bottom of the head, uh, from the breakout, you take that line from the breakout and you actually get 54. 54K for the target for that breakout. Um, we had previously had 51 as a target by getting this uh, cup and handle, I believe it was this cup and handle that was here. I'm doing this live, so excuse me. Um, let's see, was it this cup and handle? No, that also gives us the same target scratch that it's not 51 it is 54 see we got some confluence there that inverse head and shoulders gives us 54 this kind of cup and handle pattern if you take the target of that right from the neckline to the base it also gives us the same 54 target so the next target for bitcoin is is 54 um don't recall i had mentioned 51 before but i you know i don't really remember i kind of do these charts um, and I try to kind of erase my previous work, uh, not if a target hasn't been met necessarily, but sometimes I like to look at it with fresh eyes and not have the biases that I had on the previous day. So let's say the target, the next target for Bitcoin is 54, but it's taking its time. And because it's taking its time, you know, flipping old resistance to new support, uh, you know, making its way slowly, investors are getting a little uh, impatient, if you will. Uh, although it's it's rising, it's rising very, 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 very slowly. So that affects the dominance. So if you look at Bitcoin dominance right now, it's falling. 
Okay, and Bitcoin dominance, for those of you who don't know, it's essentially Bitcoin's total market share. So how much of the complete market share in uh, of, of the entire crypto space does Bitcoin have? So let's go on the monthly, because this is something that you should look at on larger time frames. And if you want to look at this in your trading view, if you want to get trading view, these uh, this uh, sort of... Uh, I don't know, this website that I use to chart and that most people use to chart, just uh, go in the description. There's a link for $30 off. Um, it supports the channel and it's good for you because you get $30 off. Everybody should have, it, there's a free version that's perfectly fine. It's just, it's limited, limited in the number of indicators that you can use. Like, I think there's like three or something like that that, can, that you can use, but the free version is perfectly fine. Um, definitely get acquainted with uh, TradingView if you want to take your understanding of charting and kind of, uh, you know, reading the markets a little further. Anyway, we're looking at this Bitcoin dominance on the monthly because this is a large scale. Uh, these are large scale trends that happen over time and they should be looked at very, very slowly. And you can see it looks as if we're getting some sort of ABC correction and we're on the monthly, mind you. So each uh, bar or each candlestick is a month, a uh, month's worth of activity. And you can see on the stochastic RSI, we've kind of, we've kind of uh, topped out here, right? And I look, it looks like an ABC correction, a, an Elliott wave ABC correction. And this is the top of the B wave. And so you're going to slowly come down it to the C wave. That means Bitcoin dominance may go as low as 30, 30%. Uh, these aren't percentages, but, uh, yeah, no, these are percentages, 30%, 30%, which is, which is historically low, right? And, you know, we may get that well into um, 2022, almost all of next year. So basically this alt season may be epic in its duration because I'm looking at the chart right now. I don't remember ever seeing, I don't recall. I mean, just look at it. You don't see Bitcoin dominance this low. And what does that mean? It's basically saying that this market's maturing. Crypto assets, cryptocurrency is no longer just Bitcoin and Ethereum. It is a space where you have serious projects that are not named Bitcoin, not named Ethereum that people are putting good money into and they're confident in putting money into and investing in. So that's basically what's happening. So that, I mean, you, we could do a, a whole nother episode on, you know, the implications of that, right? What does that mean for the market cycles? What does that mean for so many things? But yeah, Bitcoin dominance looked like it's going to be dropping for a while. So let's go into the altcoins as we promised. Let's go into Shiba Inu, uh, popular, very popular altcoin, doggy or meme coin. And let's go into, what's the other one I said? Polkadot. So SHIB, what turned me on to SHIB in the first place was the beauty of the chart. I'm not a huge fan of the project itself. Uh, they're, they're starting to try to make some forays into DeFi uh, with the SHIB swap, Shiba swap, I think it's called. Uh, and there was a huge token burn by Vitalik Buterin, the creator, one of the creators of Ethereum. And, and that really uh, affected the tokenomics uh, positively, right? It made the token mo more valuable. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not a huge fan, right? I'm, I'm big on utility and fundamentals, but it has a lot of social proof, uh, a lot of network effects. People like Shiba Inu, they like Doge. So it may be one of those coins that's here to stay, even though it started off as a meme. Anyway, just looking at the chart, it looks great. Uh, I was talking about it when it was around here on the bottom and, you know, you want to buy bottoms and sell tops. So I don't really care what it is, as long as it's not a scam. If it's on the bottom, I'm, I'm going to share with the community. If I see like, look, this is a great buying opportunity, which this was, this is a great buying opportunity. I'm going to long the hell out of it from here until infinity. So right now you see it just formed a 
uh, bull pennant. And these bull pennants, they break out uh, to the upside, most likely uh, in a bull trend. There's 68% chance they break out to the upside and we're in a bull trend. And the technical target of the breakout is the flagpole from the site of breakout. It looks like we're just now breaking out. And that target would be about 1,000. So 0 0.000040 zeros, 1012. That's the technical target for this breakout uh, as I see it. And then that would take us to the height of this consolidation range. So we've seen this Wyckoff accumulation range uh, throughout, right? Many projects have had this boom. Uh, this this range, and for those of you who can't see it, this is, I don't know what happened there. This is the range I'm discussing, like something like here. We're ranging here for, for months, uh, and that's, that's basically what we're using to reverse into this second part of the bull run. So it's going to take us to the top of this range. And at that point, what do we have? We have these triple bottom patterns, these W patterns. You can, you can see it as a W pattern here. Let's try it out. Um, you can see it as a W pattern. You can see it as a triple bottom like this. You can see it as a cup and handle uh, right here. Whoops. No, that wouldn't be the cup and handle. The cup and handle would be like, no, nah, W bottom or triple bottom, I'd say. Cup and handle would be a stretch. Any cow. The breakout for that pattern would be from the neckline, which is about here, down to the base and extended. It would take you all the way up to about uh, 0 .000040, 1412. So that's what I'm seeing. It's extremely bullish from here. I mean, it's just up and up and up. And uh, given the, Bit the fall of Bitcoin dominance, that means effectively that these projects are less susceptible to the whims of Bitcoin, right? Although Bitcoin's a market mover, we always say if Bitcoin sneezes, everybody falls down, that's no longer going to be the case as much, right? And so look, look at this, um, this, this list of projects, you see a bunch of green. Usually you don't see green unless Bitcoin's green. Now you're seeing Bitcoin in the red. It's one of the only ones in the red. And then most everything else is in the green, except maybe Ethereum uh, that's undergoing a correction and other projects that have kind of, that are kind of making their way into the positive or that have kind of uh, already run ahead. So it's, it's really each man or each project for themselves. So it's a great investing opportunity, uh, typically in, in altcoin cycles in, in these, uh, uh, altcoin seasons, if you will, uh, it, it's, it's recommended that you take some capital, uh, from your Bitcoin gains and you transition them over to these altcoins. So and not not financial advice, but that is a good strategic move because you're most likely going to make more Bitcoin in doing so. All right. Let us go into the last one, which is dot. Polka dot. So polka dot is one of those projects that's really been just so slow out the gates for this year so much promise with the you know interoperability of of all these different projects and it's uh parachain slot auctions and all that stuff yeah it, it, it hasn't really matured and everybody's saying it's the next best thing but it's hovering 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 in the in the teens and everybody's expecting it to go to the moon now what is it doing we have the past few days, actually more than the past few days, since the beginning of August, you've had these run-ups followed by these kind of losing support. Uh, the, the, these moves where, oh, you, you hit a new target and then you come back down, 
you hug, I'm on the four hourly, by the way, you hug the 21 EMA, you come back up and notice, remember when I was talking about Bitcoin and you see the slant in the head, inverse head and shoulders, right? Showing the bullish, uh, uh, momentum showing that 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 bullish sort of uh trend here look at the look at the head and shoulders they're they're flat the neckline is flat what's that tell you there's still not that much bullish momentum here right at least in the past few it's been pretty quiet except for this run up here which was probably the most aggressive and that came, I believe, from a short squeeze. This this project, Polkadot, still hasn't woken up yet. So its best days are ahead of it, right? Again, you run up, you come back down, you find support, you come back up, you turn previous resistance to support, but you're doing so very, very carefully, very slowly and methodically, um, and with no real strong bullish um momentum. And I hope you guys can see this because when you're charting, you can see this right away. Look at this. It's flat, right? Instead of, you know, what you see with Bitcoin, you want that, the slanting this way, you want it to go this way instead of just being flat. And that's how you can tell the momentum uh, of a project. But that being said, we're still going on the, uh, we're going, we're going up. It's just not as violently as other projects. And the target is going to be the from the neckline down to the base from the breakout. Looks like we're going to break out here if we get some more upwards momentum. And that target is going to take us to about $23.04. So $23.04, at which point we're going to complete this huge uh, cup and handle. Well, it's kind of like a cup and handle uh, or whatever this pattern is. Uh, if you can see it here. It's not the prettiest cup, uh, but I, I would say it's as close to a cup and handle as I, I think a cup and handle is. And the breakout for that would take us to our final target before a uh, major correction, which would be about 33 um, and that's confluent to what uh, I had previously found with an Elliott wave uh, Elliott wave uh, sort of uh, analysis and I'm not going to do that Elliott wave analysis right here uh, at this point in time because I, I don't want to make these too long but I think that dot is making its way some somewhat slowly to the $33 mark. Um, and at some point, maybe when it hits this and it breaches this resistance here, it may find more momentum. But right now, it's 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 not the strongest and sort of most violently upwards moving project. Uh, so that is Polkadot. Uh, once again, thank you very much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.